bright duty every student matters which has the philosophy of the constitution okay which is there in our preamble preamble what is a preamble preamble is an introduction to the constitution yes preamble has the values according to which the entire a uh, constitution is based upon if you want to know about the entire constitution just read the first page of the constitution and that first page is nothing but the introduction also known as the preface of the constitution known as preamble so you can see this preamble we the people of india having solemnly children each and every single word in this preamble has a meaning yes we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a we the people of india it means together we have to make our country sovereign sovereign means a complete independent country a country which is free from all type of external control having independent foreign policy children before 1947 we were not sovereign okay so first guiding value the philosophy of our constitution is to make our country sovereign socialist socialist means equality social and economic equality what does that mean under social equality means there has to be no discrimination between upper caste and lower caste everybody should be equal in society economic equality means no gap between rich and poor another philosophy is secular to make a country secular children you know that india is a land of different religions and all religions are living peacefully in the country why because we are secular children one thing i would like to tell you here when we made our constitution now we are saying five words sovereign socialist secular democratic republic but at the time when we made our constitution it was written as sovereign democratic republic these are socialist and secular words they were added very late when at the time of 42nd amendment when our constitution was amended 42nd time in 1976 then these two words and even our fundamental duties were added at that moment okay in our preamble okay so secular means freedom of religion that everybody in the country they are free to preach practice religion of their choice because we are secular then democratic it means the government of the people being established and that government will be chosen by the people through election okay that is known as a democratic and then we have republic Now, what does that mean republic means the head of the country that is the president is not a hereditary monarch but he is an elected head so in our country when we call india as a republican a republic country it means that in our country the head of the country that is the president he is not a hereditary monarch he is not a ruler he is not a king but he is also chosen by the people indirectly okay and now to secure all these uh, principles to make country sovereign socialist secular democratic republic to secure to all its citizens there has to be justice justice yes justice what kind of justice social justice economic justice and political justice everybody should be given uh, uh, justice in every field liberty liberty means freedom what kind of freedom of thought expression belief even faith and worship this worship we have seen under secularism also then another uh, philosophy guiding value is the equality what kind of equality equality of status nobody should be treated as inferior or low caste okay and of opportunity by for giving job everybody should be treated as equal on the basis of their qualification merit the job has to be given to them and to promote them among them all this equality another is fraternity it means the feeling of brotherhood 
which assure the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. So, this unity and integrity word also added very late at the time of 42nd amendment, okay, 1976. So, in our constituent assembly, this 26th day of November, I told you, 26th November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact and give to ourselves this constitution. So, at that time, 26th November 1949, our constitution was ready, okay. So, this preamble contains the philosophy of the constitution. Preamble is a preface. Earlier, I told you the meaning of the word. Question can be asked, what is meant by a preamble? Okay. Preamble is a preface or introductory document of the constitution that reflects the basic idea of the constitution. I told you, just by reading the first page of the constitution, that is a preamble, you will have an idea that what the entire constitution uh, stands upon. Okay. So, this preamble also provides a standard to examine, evaluate any law and action of government. So, it is also known as the soul of the constitution. This preamble mentions people as a source of constitution. Yes, it is all the people who are the source of power because our country, democratic country and it states India is a sovereign. All these uh, values I just now, philosophy I told you, the meaning also I told you, sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic and republic. Children, all each and every single word can be asked as a separate question. In examination, you might get a question, what is meant by sovereign or socialist or democratic, republic and secular? Even also that can ask about uh, justice, liberty, equality, fraternity for the people. So, this constitution the constitution assembly made the constitution, they have framed the constitution under the presidentship of Dr. Rajendra Prasad, but that constitution was actually being drafted. It means the final shape to this constitution was given by the drafting committee under the chairmanship of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. What is the difference between the, between constitution assembly and drafting committee? There is a difference. Constitution Assembly, they have written down everything which they felt right in the constitution. But finally, when the time came to have a final draft of the constitution, so that drafting committee, they have made certain additions and also they have deleted some of the things from this uh, uh, constitution and then prepared a final draft. And this work was being done under the chairmanship of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and this is the preamble which was finally, this constitution was ready on 26th November 1949, but it came into force in on 26th January 1950, okay. So, so now we have discussed uh, about the uh, constitution.